Yo, what is up? It's your boy girl as I enjoy game and call me and conce and page and spending is straight cent like and dating Lilini. Back at it with another vlog. So today we're doing something different, right? We're reacting to a video. A video that I came across online. Uh it's a video about I think culture shock. Uh five ways South Africa shocked me. Culture shock with uh, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this name correctly, but I'll just write it on the screen so that I avoid pronouncing people's names wrong because some people don't like it. Okay, without wasting any time, let's get into the video and see what she's talking about. Azish. Three, two, one, go. One, three, two, one. You can do this, you can do this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Super Mario. Hi guys! Uh, hi, hi, hi. Hello. And welcome back to my channel. Just like every single YouTuber says. Okay, side note. Currently, I'm in South Africa. I'm South African. So... Um, I don't know what she's going to be talking about, but I feel like she's going to be talking uh, from her perspective of South Africa. I think she's, uh, I don't know, I think she's Nigerian, if I'm not mistaken. I think she's Nigerian. Yeah. So, yeah, let's see what she has to say. Probably correct her or whatever. Let's just get into the video. Anyway, welcome back. Thank you for coming back to, you know... To this very unorganized situation, very. but um, mine is yeah. If you if you like this video, well. make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, and stick around. I hope you enjoy this video. So first of all, before I begin the video, just a disclaimer: this video isn't meant to bash anyone or anything. So it is literally just an information thing just to tell you what, you know, what I experienced. So this is my personal opinion, disclaimer, this is just my personal experience. So if you want to find out more, let's get to the video. South Africa, okay, best known for Nelson Mandela, Borvals, and Lekka music, but like that. Pura Vors. Pura Vors. That's what we know from TV. So what about the things that you don't know? What about the things that I experience, the shocking things? So in this video, I am going to tell you about the shocking things that I experienced on my stay here. Okay, so the very first thing that shocked me was the food. Okay, so I'm not trying to say that the food is like completely different, which it isn't you typically find. The food here is dope, hey. The food here is very dope. It's like food from Davidson. If you've never been to South Africa, nah, but somehow along the way you, you, you get to get here. Just get to Davidson. They sell the best food here. The best god that is sold here. The best ice cream is sold here. The best and like Davidson is a food court. Let, let me just hear what she has to say. And I'm not saying this because I'm from here. It's just that the food here is nice. <laughs> find here what you'd find in Tanzania, in Uganda, in Malawi, Zambia, whatever country you mention it. But um, what shocked me in particular was the amount of food that comprises of GMOs. So for those who don't know, GMOs are genetically modified organisms. So I'm not saying that this is a bad thing, nor am I saying it's a good thing. This is something that the scientists would argue about. Now the thing is that when having GMOs, it results in having food that is huge. So you'd have a chicken thigh the size of your palm and it tastes like paper. So that's, that's one thing that really shocked me, not having to find many organic things that taste like what I am used to, that tastes like chicken. Not, not, not to be offensive, but yeah. Okay, so number two, language and diversity. I can tell she, she, she hasn't been to Davidson. I can, I can tell. 
city. So what shocked me in particular was, you know, you know, obviously the diversity of languages. South Africa has like 11 languages, guys, 11, okay? And also just the amount of diversity when it comes to like gender and sexuality in majority of African countries. You, you wouldn't even bother to utter the, the word saying that I am part of the LGBTQIAP plus community that, that is just seen as taboo. Morning to you. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. When I first came here, it was, it was quite a shock. <laughs> you know the thing about that video, if you haven't watched the full video, you you wouldn't understand what's going on there but um you need to watch the full video for you to understand what's going on in that video because every time i see that video somewhere on the socials it's 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 cut on that part and i feel like it's misleading to some degree but if you want to watch the, f the full video just go online and watch it and you will see <laughs> what's happening there it's pretty pretty hectic and having to learn all about that was was quite an amazing experience and having to see the diversity of people and also another thing that shocked me in particular was the fact that people assume that you speak a certain language there have been many times that I've been stopped and someone would speak to me in Zulu or Kosa and they they would say you know whatever they're saying and I always have to say that oh sorry I'm not from here and they would assume that you know oh you look Kosa, you look Zulu, and I'm like, uh, uh. that's kind of weird because, you know, we're, we're both Africans and how can you assume that, you know, we, I, I speak a certain language due to, to the way that I look. Even I've, I've, I've been guilty of having to judge someone for that. I, I, would, I would look at my friend. Okay, I met someone and, and I assumed that they either speak Kosa or Zulu and you know, they, they, they spoke Afrikaans and I was like, ah, okay, 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 you go, you go. That's, that's, that's pretty amazing. That's, um, okay. Yeah. So this part here, I feel, I feel like it's, 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 it's because we are used to meeting people who speak a certain language every day. So for example, um, where I'm from, uh, it's usually dominated by Zulu, Zulu, Zulu people, right? And we have sections here where, um, where in the in the old days people were divided. Yeah. So, um, as they were divided, we were put into sections like Makoseni, things like that. So where I'm from, it's 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 the thing is, you. You, you get to, 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 to sit around with a lot of Zulu people and every time, everywhere you go, they speak Zulu. So I think you just go out there and assuming that maybe someone is Zulu, it's not that you are judging them, but just because, I don't know, I, I really don't know. But I feel like Zulu is the most uh, spoken language in South Africa. So you assume that everyone knows Zulu just as um, people... Like just as uh, people around the world speak English. I mean, if I go to China and Gifitle Dai, I know that the people there are Chinese, but I can't speak Chinese. So I assume that maybe they understand Chinese. Okay, I think maybe China is a pretty extreme example. So let, let's say I go to England, right? And I know that England, they speak English. And then I land go england and then the next thing i'm like yo what's up you good and then the person just looks at me simply because they don't speak english but just because i have this assumption of you know what it is what it is man but i don't think it's judging it's just what it is <laughs> that's what shocked me about it because back home you you speak Majority of the languages that would speak would be either Chichewa, English, and Tumbuka most of the time. And other people do have the chance to speak other languages, but at a very limited area, should I say so. Number three, safety. So before I came here, people's main concern was 
how safe the country is okay so you'd hear all the stories of you know gender-based violence and robberies crime and xenophobia and all that you know these are things that you'd see on tv and you really wouldn't connect to them because they weren't right in your face or right in your neighborhood or right in your surroundings so when i came here it, it was it was quite a click to the head having to understand that okay this is something that is real and something that you always have to be concerned about so number four is the racial divide and inequality in this country back to my point of you know um diversity and and all that it's not like this thing happened willingly okay um the country has a history of apartheid and you know inequality racial discrimination racism and all that so unfortunately this has had effects that you know are, are still present till this day unfortunately this also brings in the inequality of you know minority groups oh my battery is low mm -hmm. minority groups and here we are having to um see that xenophobia is more cautious about it and you learn more about it so this really shocked me of you know how how people are so passionate about you know their rights and and all that because i know in other countries you you never you never hear people you know fight for their rights and you know fight for racial discrimination and equality because you know we're free from that we don't have to be segregated and all that but unfortunately it happened here and that's that's something that i'm continuing to learn about and that's that's I guess it's it's a nice lesson. To, uh, it's a nice lesson to learn. So South Africa is known to have beautiful landscapes. Beautiful, be beautiful landscapes. <laughs> so just like every other country, where you know you have beautiful landscapes and all that, South Africa in particular has a variety. Of amazing places to see amazing things to do and experience and that's what really shocked me in a sense that you know it is exploited in a good okay uh, in case you don't know that's Cape Town she just showed pictures of Cape Town way I don't know utilized should I say utilized it is utilized in a way that conserves the, the the history and the areas and the nature that makes it even more attractive and wow kudos to you guys amazing job with that and that is the end of the video if you like this video make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification button too and be sure to share this video with your mom dad your aunts your uncles and your grandfather bye okay awesomeness so i hope you enjoyed uh the video what you said I was hoping she's gonna say more so I can like say more as well. But cool. Um it is what it is. Uh she did mention the stuff that uh shocked her when she came to South Africa, of which uh some of the things I know, some of the things I don't know, but it is what it is. Cool. So yeah, if you like the video, subscribe, like, you know what's whatever